Well, it's the end of the first day and I'm sat in the lounge ready waiting for the Tidsmeister to have my dinner. So we'll see what uh, tea's like. And uh, he picked up some money today, did Tidswell, so I'm sure he'll be buying me a steak for tea. We'll see what he says when he gets down here. Right, good morning. It is the start of the Golden Rod Feeder Championship Day 1. We've just got up, less left Sour Point Manor Hotel, had the worst night's sleep in the world. Just couldn't get to sleep. Old May Potter there, just saying bye. Couldn't get to sleep. <clears throat> terrible don't know what it is different bed different uh, environment in it couldn't get to sleep felt like I've got no sleep but oh, I don't know anyway meal were absolutely crap last night it like the, the microwaved it up old Tidsy were kicking off it weren't really but the meal weren't great there but hey ho what can you do eh? anyway Enough of the negativity, it is day, It is the day that we start the Golden Rod final at Larford Lakes. We're just going to go to uh, the cafe in the middle of, uh, well it's probably in the middle of town, get some get some grub, get some a coffee down there and uh, wake up a bit ready for the draw. Now it's on sections today, uh, I think it's 11 peg sections you got to win your section to be in a chance to, to win this competition really so that's what we're going for today I don't know what the sections are but normally they're across from there'll be five on your bank and five on the other bank straight across from yourself but we'll, we'll figure out that when we get there and uh, it looks like we'll be drawing early because I qualified on the first round so it looks like we'll be uh, up there drawing pretty much first and uh, we'll see how we get on hopefully an end peg because the end pegs are dominating that's what we want today so fingers crossed there eh? anyway we're gonna get there get some breakfast and wake up a bit and uh, yeah get raring to go come on today um, I'll start off by saying um, that the final you'll be not like yesterday you'll be opposites today it's grass one to six you'll be fishing against 33 to 29 uh, if you're on beach outside <laughs> 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 Why is the door is getting cold? 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 Why is the door is the last of the section will get the relevant points. Um, and um, in the event of a, a points tie, it will revert to eight. Okay? 
Right, uh, okay, I, I think I've covered everything there. So I'm going to do the draw today, gentlemen and ladies, of course, uh, by way of qualification order through the series, and then tomorrow I'll reverse it. Okay? So I'm calling up first draw, it's Dave Wood. Excuse me. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. No pressure, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Make a draw, Dave. Dropping us up, please. <laughs> I have to cut that out now. Speciating. Oh, yeah. There you go. Speciating. Dave has drawn Speciating. Well, hello darkness, my old friend. We're back here again. Peg 18 it is this time. By the willow tree. Same peg as I drew last year in the Golden Rod final. And I ended up winning my section. <sighs> different day, different weather. See what happens there. Eh? Let's turn around, show you what I'm doing. Right, I'm not going to get too close to the peg, but here we are, peg 18 it is this time. Got all the gear set up. Absolutely bouncing around the corner, that wind. Got Richard Tumor next door, lovely fella. Really like Rich, always helps me out, always gives me good information. Here we are, here's the peg. Got my rod set up, all the essential. Distance method feeder, a normal method feeder, 10 foot, 11 foot, 12 foot. That's what we've got set up. We're not going to do anything too strange. Let's just fish it as we did last year. Down this side here, later on. And then just in front. And then if we have to, we'll put a long line out. That's the plan. We've got micros, corn, my wafters, my super sprays. That's it. I'm going to have to put the camera down because it's absolutely smashing down with rain. But wish me luck. And uh, fingers crossed for me. Let's see if we can do it. We'll see you in a bit. Right, well, we're here. Peg 19, uh, 18. Got a fancy here for a few. Um, hopefully it'll stop raining. It's been raining all morning. We're about three minutes from the off now. So uh, we're just gonna uh, go around. Darren, Cox had just come round, brought us some bait up feeders, some new ones from uh, Garbalina, some new ones. So thanks Darren. Look at these. These were bait up feeders, them aren't they? So, um, yeah, steady off. Steady, steady, steady. That's the name of the game. See what happens. And um, hopefully it'll be a nice day. But 
but um, yeah, I'm not too sure who's drawn good areas or anything, but just got to concentrate, see if we can get it done today. It's absolutely belting down. I put that other camera on, I don't know if it's going to work or not. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, might be that I'm filming, taking it off. So it might not be the greatest footage today, so I do apologise. But uh, we're here to win it, aren't we? So I'm afraid I've got to try and get the fishing done first before the filming. But hopefully we'll get a few shots and a few bits and bats and it uh, should be a good day. So uh, anyway, we're two minutes from the off. I'm going to uh, get this in and uh, hopefully come back to you when we've had a few fish. Right, well, it stopped raining for five minutes and uh, we've had a few chucks on that uh, short line at six metres. I've just had three skimmers. Um, not seen anyone else catch anything yet. That's on, not another one on. Um, but I don't mind if I like this because quite decent skimmers carry on catching them that's my biggest so far about three pound Charlie Simpson across, he's on Pepper Peg. He'll be happy with uh, Plenty of room in there, Charlie. I'm sorry about that. Bugging. It's supposed to be really windy today. We've got wind, rain, all sorts. All the elements uh, against us, but uh, keep fighting on, don't we? I've not seen anyone catch much anything yet, but uh, we'll keep soldiering on this line. Hopefully, we'll keep catching a few until we decide to do something different. Wow, down this edge or somewhere. But uh, not panicking yet. Got a few fish. Okay, bye. I can't really see anything. Well, I can see, but I'm turning this way to uh, fish. Um, so I'm listening out for splashes to see if anyone's uh, caught anything next door. I'll keep having odd look at both. See if Charlie's got one or anything like that, but uh, Maxi gets down here, he's a good angler. Richard Tumor next door, like I said, he's a good lad. No, I like Richard. Um, don't know who else has drawn well. Peske, Solske, um, Polish lad who always does really well. He's drawn peg one today, so he's on a good peg. But, uh, yeah, apart from that, I'm not worried about anyone else, I'm just trying to get what I can do. Get the best out of my peg and keep going. Oh, I love some. This feels different.
too bad. Um, just had a few short at six meters and then I'm spated up the red line about 30 meters now. One of the famous angling brothers. I'm not sure if he's the best one, I don't know. <laughs> not the best in the world, eh? Not the best in the world. But uh, Any good yet? Uh, I've got about ten pound. Ten pound. Have yeah. you got any carp? Uh, no carp, just skimmers. Right. Okay, mate. Well, you're doing all right with that, mate. It's fishing hard. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So Dave's got. He's the As I was saying, I've just uh, baited up at 30 metres, I've just put four or five out, just on a small uh, baiting up feeder, and then uh, I've had a couple of little chucks down to my right, at left, sorry, nothing at the minute, but I would have thought so, I just thought I'd just test it, I know it's a bit too early for that, but uh, I'm just going to carry on on this, keep putting odd fish in net, but it's, it's it's going a bit iffy and you get a little bite and what have you, I think you've just got to keep going on him. And then uh, I'll try that to 30 metre line and just keep uh, baiting odd little bit up. I ain't gone mad baiting up, just uh, just a few micras and a bit of corn and what have you. So I'll try that in a bit. But uh, Jamie said it's fishing quite hard all round. So I'll take ten pound at first hour, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Right, well, it is about, let me just see, one o'clock. Um, it's dried up a little bit, up at six metres, so I put a bit of bait to me left. Had a couple of skimmers, but not, uh, not big down there to me left. Um, I'm not sure it was catching, I don't think the rich has had much next door. But I think uh, Maxi get further down, he's catching a few. I'm not too sure what's been caught across. I haven't really seen much. I don't think Grog has had much or uh, Charlie Simpson. He's across from me as well. I'm not too sure if they've had really anything, to be honest. Um, yeah, 
struggled this last sort of hour only put about four or five little skimmers in the net but the sun come the sun's come out a little bit it is still a bit windy um just gotta keep going I've, I've just this is my first chuck on my 30 meter line now um so i'm just gonna give this maybe two or three chucks and then hopefully go back on them go back on my short lines i mean i could really if i wanted to launch a feeder to the corner but i just think that they're going to turn up on that edge line to my left if i keep a little bit of bait going in and uh, keep my feeder going in that's a plan anyway i'm sure they will do and i'm sure we'll get a few carp later on fingers crossed but uh, not too sure whether else is doing anything and uh, we'll keep going on this gonna have two two or three chucks on this not gonna leave it loads not gonna waste loads of time on it if i can catch a few more skimmers i'll keep catching them skimmers while uh, while them carp uh, wake up and get their heads down so uh, that's the plan and uh, we'll go from there uh, up to better, fish. better skimmer to be honest I feel like a car that's it I'm moving up here it's better Darren's just come over to see us. He said Simon Fry's got a couple of carp in his section, but not doing the best. Just hope we start getting a few more down this edge because it's carp o'clock. It is. Two. Sorry, quarter three. Is. And, uh, I've been struggling to be honest. Odd skimmer. Um, I don't think anybody's caught any carp in my section. I might be wrong. But a uh, couple down there admitting to 20 pound. Um, I might have got 25, I think. I just can't put none of skimmers together. Yeah, I'm just trying to do my best and uh, hopefully in this last hour start catching a few carp because we need them. If we don't catch any carp, I think we're uh, well down the section, but we need some. So everybody out there, get your fingers crossed because we need a few. I'm not really interested in now walking around, see who's catching or anything like that. I'm just going to try and concentrate on this edge, put a little bit of bait in. Once uh, I refed it, see if we can catch one on it and then go back out. Just alternate these two lines for the last uh, hour, hour now. That's all we can do. So we need to catch carp, don't we? Same as yesterday. We need carp. Come on. Well, we're into uh, the last ten minutes now. Uh, not the best. what's been caught to me left to me right, sorry uh, I don't know if they've caught a carp or not 
so it's uh, it's probably whoever's got a carp in this sort of section will won it, but I don't think I've got enough skimmers to beat Max again. And uh, we're needing a carp. I'm not too sure what's being caught across. Charlie had a bit of a run and had two or three. I think they were just skimmers and maybe a small car. Um, but that's it, I'm not too sure. It doesn't look like it's going to be round. Very frustrating day. Try to catch what I can. But them carp just didn't turn up. Rob Bergen, he's got one on at the minute. He's been catching quite well. So we could be well down here. I don't think I've got enough to uh, win the section. I need it to go now to the car bomb. Put icing on the cake. Looks like they're packing up on there. Don't look like they've had a good day at all. Five minutes left. Last can to cast saloon for me. I'm absolutely freezing. I've had wind in my face all day and it's getting worse. Just hope that we're there or thereabouts at the end and uh, not completely totally messed it up. We'll see what happens at the way in eh? Right, that's the end of day one. Um, was a little bit disappointed with getting only two points on the first day because I thought I'd drawn an absolute flyer. Well, the end peg, I'd have took that all day long. Um, but I was really, really pushing the peg, putting in 
um, some ground bait down the edge to that left hand side and I were trying to push the peg to try and catch a carp and I were getting the odd skimmer every now and then and there were bigger ones but I should have just kept plopping in my method feeder plopping in my method feeder and catching the odd skimmer and I think I ended up probably winning the section but because I pushed my peg in the last hour and I put four big feeder fulls down to my left hand side uh, trying to push the peg to try and catch a carp and kept alternating in front down the edge on front down the edge I think it, would I have done it again yes I'd have done it again because I, I thought I was going to catch a carp in that peg but they just didn't show nobody caught a carp in our section oh, well oh sorry Rob Bergen caught a small carp around about three pound in our section but no one else caught anything down the edge sort of thing he caught that at about 20 meters so would I have done it again I'd have probably done the same again um because I thought there were carp in that area and I wanted to catch a carp and I thought I needed to catch a carp to win the section. But in hindsight, looking back now, I didn't need to catch a carp. I just needed to keep catching those skimmers and I ended up winning the section. But not all failed on day one. Uh, got us two points in the section. So really, really good points going into the second day. That's all you can hope for. I think if you're in the top three, or even top four of your section on the first day, you've still got a chance in the second day. So not all not all bad. Re when when I look at it now and I think to myself, yeah, get back to the hotel and I'm thinking about I've still got two points, still a really good chance of, of doing well in the uh in like the two day festival thing. So yeah, really good chance there. Um Right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll not give away too much, but we're going into the second day with two points, so hopefully we'll get a really good draw tomorrow.